yo guys what's going on so I, I forgot to show this in the last video or the videos that I did recently um, I ended up doing the drums for Deep Purple Mark IV's last concert ever together at the Empire Theatre in Liverpool UK on March 15th 1976 there's the set list it's the same as basically the other shows I did but I always like to show the uh um, the set lists and the venue and the date in those videos for the um, bootleg shows I've been doing. Not just for Purple, but uh, you see me show this little notepad with the set list, the venue, and the date for my Sabbath videos as well. So I forgot to show this in the Purple videos that I did. Um, again, uh, read the description for the videos on these bootlegs. Um, as you can see uh, in the videos for the bootlegs um, in regards to again purple uh, drum bootlegs I've been doing for the during the Come Taste of Band tour from fall of 1975 to spring of 76 you can see me um, struggling a lot trying to play these songs because again it's a bootleg it's very hard to hear um, so I apologize for the mistakes. So uh, just take into consideration when you're watching these videos, um, you know, just think about what I'm telling you in this video, and read the description, please, in the videos, um, in regards to these purple Mark IV shows I've been doing. Um, so again, here it is: the tune-up, "Burn," "Lady Luck," "Getting Tighter," "Love Child." Smoke on the Water, Going Into George On My Mind, with Glenn Hughes' little vocal solo. Lazy, with John Lord and Ian Pace solo. Going Into Tommy Bullen's um, Homeward Strut, from the teaser album, released uh, in, I believe it was November 75, uh, this time around. Going into Ode to G, and then going into Tommy Bowen solo, and then going into Stormbringer. As you can see at the show, the Empire Theater Liverpool show that I did, you can see me in the video. I totally lost it on Stormbringer. Um, the audio was just not applicable, and I just decided to just sit back and listen. So I couldn't really play along to it. I didn't really know what was going on. It was probably just better for me to, to just stop at that point in the bootleg and have you guys enjoy the bootleg and the very distorted audio that we're fortunate to have of Deep Purple Mark IV's last concert before they walked off the stage and uh, went their separate ways. And... Um, Highway Star it was, you know, a joke. I couldn't even hear anything I was doing or that they were doing. I mean, the audio was so distorted. Uh, the name of the bootlegs. Oh, also, after Highway Star, there's a Tommy Bone interview in uh, December of 1976, apparently, which uh, claims on the bootleg that was in December of 76. So it had to have been literally just days or maybe even a day just before he died. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there's a couple bootlegs out there, but the one we know, um, or the one that's pretty popular, is called The Last Straw. And there's also another one out there called Come Taste the End. So check it out. Um, if I find them, I'll definitely try to buy one. If I find one some someday on eBay or, or whatever, I'd like to have it in the collection. But again, Thank you very much for checking out these bootlegs. Um, I might do, I'm definitely going to do more coming down the road. Um, I don't know how recent because I'm trying to move on and do some new projects. But I just wanted to show this off. And it's a lot, I had a lot of fun playing these bootlegs on the drums. Uh, again, I've mentioned before, if you listen to these bootlegs, especially the bootleg videos for not just the purple, but. I guess for any of my videos really in general, but especially the bootlegs, the purple bootlegs, because the sound quality is uh, very distorted. Uh, if you listen to it, listen, try to listen to it with a really good sound bar on your TV 
or a uh, um, if you have good speakers on your TV, or even better, use headphones. It sounds a lot better than just using your plain old TV speakers or if you're watching on your phone, most people probably are. It's not as enjoyable. Uh, you can really get the full um, magic and the full atmosphere if you have a good uh, audio source, like really good speakers or headphones. So here it is. This is my notepad of all the um, concerts and mostly bootlegs that I'll be doing in the future will all be in here. So I always like to show this off in the video, but I forgot to make the set list, the set list in the last Purple concert I did. So here it is. Just a normal lineup that they did during the Come Taste the Band tour. So there it was on the drums. Um, Deep Purple live at the Empire Theater in Liverpool, UK March 15th, 1976 um, again, there was their last show that that lineup collectively played together um, it's hard to get all the information in my descriptions because they give me limited space but read my description in my videos I take a lot of time to say a few words uh, a lot of um, facts I like to put more facts than just um, rumors and my own theory my own opinions and I like to try to keep it fact oriented so uh, whatever I'm talking about is um, you know we have we have proof you know for example there's a lot of nonsense I read about different bands but for example, Deep Purple in particular, where they said the last show was horrible and uh, Glenn Hughes was so stoned on stage and all this nonsense. And I'm not saying he was or wasn't, but um, I think people take things out of perspective. It, to me, it just sounded like another great uh, Deep Purple concert by the Mark IV lineup. And I enjoyed playing it and hearing it. And we're, we're all, all Purple fans are lucky to have these bootlegs. So I try to save them play low on them, have fun, do something a little bit different than what your normal uh, YouTube uh, cover wannabe rock star, musician, average Joe out there. I try to do something a little bit different, a little bit, you know, more by playing along to a bootleg to, uh, you know, a band that's in my, uh, definitely in my likings. So uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys. And again, read the description for the videos. Um, bootlegs are hard to play along to because of audio issues. And uh, not using it as an excuse to my playing, but it really is kind of hard. So I try to do the best I can to cover up the, uh, the um, non-applicable audio. Um, but I try to entertain you by, you know, making the faces and imitating david coverdale or glenn hughes you know just to make it a little more exciting so thanks again guys thanks for checking out the channel and uh check out the videos uh for example check out the purple bootlegs i've been doing they're pretty cool uh eventually i'll try to do them on guitar which would be very challenging but hey we'll see what happens thanks guys